and science learners, welcome to another session of our lesson. Here again is your teacher, Letty, and today we are going to learn the examples of astronomical phenomena before the advent of telescopes. After going through this module, you are expected to Number 1. Explain what is astronomy. Number 2. Enumerate the examples of astronomical phenomena. Number 3. Describe the phases of the moon. And number 4. Differentiate lunar and solar eclipses. For me to know if you have prior idea for our topic, let us answer the following questions. Write the letter of your correct answer. Write your answers on your paper. So, have your pen, your paper, and your module ready. Number one, it refers to the signs of the universe outside of our planet. Letter A, Astrology B, Astronomy C, Geography D, Geology The correct answer is B. Number 2, A lunar eclipse can only occur when the moon is full. Letter A. True. Letter B. False. The answer is B. Number 3. The different appearances of the moon throughout the month are known as the moon's blank. Letter A. Eclipses. Letter B, waning. Letter C, waxing. Letter D, phases. The answer is D. Number 4. When the moon comes between the sun and the earth, a shadow is cast on the earth. This phenomenon is called a blank. Letter A, waxing moon. Letter B, waning moon. Letter C, solar eclipse. Letter D, lunar eclipse. The correct answer is C. Number 5. When portion of the moon that is lit by sunlight is getting larger, the moon is said to be black. A. Waxing B. Waning C. In eclipse Letter D. In phase The answer is A. How many points did you get? Gray! Or, if you do not have any idea about the lesson, don't you worry because I am going to guide you through with our lesson. So let's dive in with what's new. I presume that you already heard about astronomy. Now let us define the word. Astronomy is the science of the universe outside of our planet. This is the branch of physical science that deals with heavenly bodies. Some are the examples of astronomical phenomena. Number 1. Diurnal motion Diurnal motion is the apparent movement of stars and other celestial bodies around the Earth as a direct effect 
of the Earth's rotation on its own axis. By watching stars for more than a few moments, you'll see that they appear to move across the sky. This is known as diurnal motion. The stars will appear to trace circles throughout their orbit, known as the diurnal circle. From our reference point, it takes a star about one sidereal day to complete a circle. This is a time period of 24 hours. Stars that move closer to the poles will move less, such as the North Star, currently Polaris. Polaris hardly appears to move at all. Eventually though, due to the precession of Earth's axis, Polaris will no longer be the North Star. At around 14,000 AD, Vega will take over as our North Star. While this movement of the sky gives the impression that the Earth is the center of the universe, diurnal motion is nothing more than an effect of Earth rotating on its axis. From our vantage point, as the Earth rotates, we get to see a full 360 degree view of the sky. Number 2. Annual Motion Annual motion is the motion of the Earth and its orbit around the Sun. It is called annual motion because it takes one year for the Earth to make one complete orbit. To be exact, it takes Earth 365 days, 5 hours, 48 minutes, and 45 seconds to travel around the Sun. Number 3. Precession of the Equinoxes Precession of the Equinoxes is the apparent motion of the equinoxes along the ecliptic as Earth wobbles. The Earth spins at the imaginary axis that is tilted at 23.5 degrees. Study of the position of stars over long periods of time has revealed that the Earth's axis is not fixed. It moves by tracing out a circle over time. This cyclic wobbling motion of the Earth's axis of rotation, called precision, repeats every 25,772 years. Precession is caused by the gravitational pull of the Sun and the Moon on the Earth. Number 4 Moon phases. Moon phases is the changing appearances of the moon as it makes a complete revolution around the Earth. For centuries, man has been intrigued by the moon's changing face. Sometimes it's high in the sky, some nights it's a sliver and other times, it disappears completely. But this cycle becomes predictable as the moon's phases repeat every month. So what causes the moon to have phases? And why is its cycle consistent? Phases represent the illuminated portion of the moon that we see from Earth. As the moon begins to orbit Earth, the sun's light reflects off the moon causing a different portion to glow. The moon has four main phases. New, first quarter, full, and last quarter. It takes about one week for the moon to change from one of these phases to another. In between, the moon is either a crescent, which means it's less than half full, or gibbous, which is more than half full. When the moon appears to be growing, we say that it is waxing. If it appears to be getting smaller, it is waning. Here are some points to remember. A new moon occurs when the sunlit portion of the moon is facing away from the earth. The moon is waxing when the sunlit portion is getting larger. A full moon is seen 
when the side of the moon facing the earth is entirely sunlit. The moon is waning when the lit portion is getting smaller. Number 5. Eclipses This is a phenomenon when one celestial body cross between the sun and another celestial body. A shadow is cast at the second celestial body. to remember a solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the earth and the sun a lunar eclipse occurs when the earth comes between the sun and the moon so amazing isn't the earth full of God's glory I know you have learned a lot from our lesson and so now let us check what have you learned? What you have learned. Given the pictures, choose the letter of your answer. A. Waning B. Waxing C. Lunar Eclipse D. Solar Eclipse The answer is B. What about this next picture? The answer is A. Let's try this one. The answer is D. And this last picture. The answer is C. Good job! You've done it! You're almost there. Now let us answer the following assessment questions. Number one. The spinning motion of the Earth on its axis is called blank. A. Rotation B. Revolution C. Orbit D. Period of revolution The answer is A. Number 2. The Earth spins on an imaginary axis. The Earth's axis is A. Tilted at 45 degrees B. Not tilted at all C. Tilted at 23.5 degrees D. Tilted toward the sun The correct answer is C. 
Number 3. How many days does it take for the Earth to revolve around the Sun in a single year? Letter A. Exactly 365 days. B. 365 days, 5 hours, 48 minutes, and 45 seconds. Letter C. A little more than 366 days. Letter D. 31 days. The answer is B. Number 4. The wobbling of the Earth's axis of rotation repeats how often? A. Every 365 days. B. Every 25,772 years. C. Every 52 weeks. D. Every 1,000 years. The correct answer is B. Number 5. What causes the precision of the equinoxes? A. Uneven mountains. B. Solar wind. C. Changes in the Earth's core. D. The gravitational pull of the sun and the moon on the Earth. The answer is D. You nailed it! You really learned a lot from our lesson. Congratulations! You're done with the lessons. Remember that the heaven belongs to the Lord, but the earth He has given to man. Until our next lesson, see you!